Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Tomb Raider 3. Uh, we are... Uh, no, another episode of Tomb Raider Remastered. This is the third game in the series. I'm doing actually all of them. All three games. We are in the third area of the third game. Um, first one was India, second one I chose the, the second two fourth one you can choose the order of and then the fifth one i think is fixed again but the second one i chose nevada and now we are in the i think it's called south pacific or pacific let's quickly check that out i am actually i have to call it like it is uh wow fuck all those annoying pop-ups in android um, one moment. Yeah, I'm in the wrong page. It is indeed South Pacific. We are uh, in the crash site. Is it the crash site or crash site? Crash site. Um, and Previously, previous episode, we basically did 99% of uh, the level already, but then I found I missed, I think, one secret, one crystal, and two items, I think. Maybe two or three items. And in between episodes, it's now 4.30 on a Sunday. Uh, I started at 1 o'clock or something, so I really have been walking around for like three hours. Eventually, I did find it, so I will show what was missing. I really spent a lot of time near this plane, etc. Then only 20 minutes ago or so, I was like going into this one, and I totally forgot that we also had this side area here. Then I was like, ah, then because I went through here quite quickly, then I was like, ah, there's a pretty big chance that the secret will be here. And indeed it is. There's one other thing to note, and that is that apparently you there are, I think, 62 kills max in this level. Yes. Um, and I only have like 59. But yeah, I really... I'm confident that I've been everywhere in this level. Um, and what I read is that if you use the grenade launcher, um, you do use a grenade launcher at the end with uh, like a horde of dinosaurs coming at you. But if you use the grenade launcher then apparently the kill count can become messed up apparently it, it can overcount but yeah in my case it did not overcount uh, obviously but still I'm not going to really bother about those three kills that I didn't find because uh, yeah it, it, if, if it is glitched with grenades then yeah what can you do anyways um, in this area I mainly focus on the dinosaur that was hanging over there you have to shoot it then you can distract the piranhas then you can get to the other side blah 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 but actually over here I should have noticed better you cannot jump from here straight up but you can do a slight angle and then you get on top of this branch and here we go that was the secret i was missing and then let's get back to where we came from so yeah on the kills i don't know but um i'm pretty damn confident that I triggered all the enemies because I literally have been um, 
yeah, like I said, running around this whole area for hours and hours. Besides the previous episode, which also took like hours, where I went through it the first time around. So I cannot imagine that there are any enemies that I didn't trigger. So I'm gonna attribute that um, missing kill, those missing kills to a glitching of the uh, the kill counter. Also, Stella's forum says like, yeah, you you should not really rely on the kill counter in this level because if the grenades screw up the kill counter yeah there was like this very big uh fight here where you only shoot grenades i assume these are not rockets or maybe they are actually i don't know but i did use grenades earlier while uh the grenade launcher while fighting a t-rex so yeah I, I can run around longer, but I, I, I did so already and I did not find any um, enemies other than the ones that um, I already took down. So yeah, what can you do? Um, there is one other thing yeah that was like okay what is the ending of the level and we're still missing a crystal and another item uh and then by coincidence i found i actually was uh roaming about over here and then the camera was glitching out and i could look through the wall and then i did see that the crystal is over there plus the item but i didn't really know how to get there i thought it was like maybe going underwater in an opening or something apparently you just have to shoot it so here we go i am a little bit bummed out by that kill count but yeah am i going to i'm almost like Knowing myself, I'm almost like, okay, I will just start over and don't use the grenade launcher and get all the kills. But yeah, I'm not going to do it. This one has already taken hours and hours. It's pretty crazy. So here we go. That was the level. Crash site. You, me fast in this day. You make plenty good flesh pot. You forget. I might be quite hungry myself. Famished, actually. Uh. Why did your ancestors flee from Antarctica so suddenly? Oh. Kuma, Kuma, bad place. Plenty flesh. But for the price of evil, mutilation, the sixth leader, Mauki, were born without a face. Terrible storms. Men afraid. Run! Set curse of Maoki on the land. No one good enough. But you still worship it? White fella later come here with magic Kuma Kuma stone. In a day, we celebrate the death of him. The feast of smile. One of Darwin's sailors, poor fool. Where's the stone now? <laughs> He lucky fella that kill you. A plenty merry like you. I'll be sure to point that out to him. Alright, here we go. Secrets, three out of three. Crystals found, four out of four. Pickups, 26 out of 26. Kills, 59 out of 62. I'm really a little bit bummed out about that, actually. Um... Yeah, but what can I do? Am I going to do it all over again? Nah. What I probably will be doing is um, 
checking the footage that I recorded in the previous episode of the initial playthrough and holding it that besides the uh, Stella's forums walkthrough to see if there's any any enemy that did not trigger for me. So then in the next episode I will um, maybe do a bit recap. Maybe they all triggered. I do think they all triggered. It's just a bugged out counter. But yeah, it really feels a little bit like uh, unfinished business, but it is what it is. All right, so we are in a new area. I think this may be the last level of the South Pacific, or maybe not. Let's check it out. South Pacific, nope. This is the third out of four. Mapudu Gorge or something. Madubu Gorge. Could well be that we will be using the um, the kayak in this level. Would not surprise me. All right, that looks like a drawbridge. That looks like quite a heavy current. really is a different time of day it looks. This looks like uh, sunsets in the remastered. Holy fucking hell. Jump scare. Jump scare. Fucking hell. Pretty sturdy feller. What the hell was that? A mini dinosaur. Who actually uh, poisoned Lara? God damn it. Annoying that I still don't have magnum bullets. To the climbable wall. I don't know. Let's try it out. Nope. Ah, this is actually what I wanted to check out earlier, and then I was like, ah, there will probably be nothing there, but there actually is. There is an opening there. Before going there, let's check it out. So we have a platform, we could get to the other side probably. And this probably leads nowhere, this is just where we came from probably. Although it has quite some goodies. does not give away that's probably where we were supposed to come from I don't know 
unless there's a lever here, which there does not appear to be. Let's double check. I don't want to miss anything all at the start. So nothing here on the ground, right? I don't see anything. And these are not climbable, I assume. Nope. So we can get to the left. And then we jump on the one in the middle. But after that, I have no clue. Over there, that rock there looks climbable actually. Probably have to just shimmy along the edge. I know we have to go left, but I just want to check out whether this rock over here that's coming up is climbable upwards. Nope. At least we cannot get below it. Ah. Can actually stand here. opening in there and that is probably where that hedge leads so that hedge maybe could go, go open fuck me Right, does that open up the hedge? And is the hedge a secret area? Would not surprise me.
I do like this level. It's uh, the, all the, the areas, that this whole jungle setting. It's pretty quintessential Tomb Raider to me. All right, but how do we get back to the other side? I wonder whether that button that we just pressed, whether that's a time button, would not surprise me. And it would be pretty annoying. Because we will have to do everything what we're doing now again. Because now I'm going super slow. Oh my god. Pressing the right button, but... Nothing is happening. <laughs> right, now to know when we are... Uh, this should be it, I guess. Right, hatch, please be open. Yeah, it does seem to be open actually. Nice. Ah, so that actually... This is not a secret area or like a, a little side area. This actually seems to be the main progression with the kayak. So if that is the case, then we first will check out the left side over there before we cannot do that anymore. I also see an opening over there, to the left. Let's not forget about that. Then I really wonder, those rocks with cracks in them, are they climbable? I, I don't think so. In the old school graphics, they don't look really much distinct from any other rock textures. Mostly only in the remastered graphics.
still there is there a way to get into that opening over there Maybe. Ah, here we go. Always forget about it. That we can use ceilings in Tomb Raider 3. Double checking whether the microphone is on. Previous episode, I actually forgot to turn it on. Super annoying. No commentary in that one barely went well or that almost went wrong can climb down holy shit this is much bigger than I expected I thought this also would just be maybe a one secret area or something but it's quite a big a bit bigger We have some spikes. Two mines. It's really weird in this game, even if I now probably drop off, she will take damage. Ah, fuck me. Fuck that shit, that doesn't make any sense. If you ask me. That is quicker and safer. What the hell?
He didn't poison Lara, always good. Man, this is a pretty damn big level. Alright, that one we probably need to get with the kayak. Also over there, we can shimmy all the way to the right. Is there any use to that? I don't think once we do that we cannot get back here. Let's just check it out. I thought maybe we could stand there because it was less steep than the other one, but not really. There's a village over there. And a rope. What looks to be a rope in the water. Maybe we can actually do a backflip over there. Uh, I'm sure we will hit the water anyways, but let's try it. Oh my god, so annoying. I pressed the right button, it's simply not registering, it's so annoying. again what the fuck game what the fuck i'm pressing the jump button i'm really smashing it even oh my god oh, my god. oh fuck me man i'm already getting frustrated again oh my god oh my god fuck this fucking game man. fuck these fucking messed up controls Just wanted to test it out. It looked like a pretty flat surface, but apparently not flat enough. Again, this level No, I'm not gonna say that. I wanted to say it's almost a little bit too big because we still have to get back to the kayak, we have like that branch in the roads or in that uh, indoor area we took one of two ways we still have to take the other way I do think this was just nothing more than a crystal 
about I hear an enemy spawning where is it we also want to go for all the kills right that one went down pretty damn quickly Check the enemy type. I do like the variety of enemies in this game. Well, this is a weird mixture between um, a humanoid, like an ape or something, with two arms, two legs, a dinosaur, and a crocodile, and a lizard. Let's just call it lizard people. A bowler would not surprise me at this point. So we can get up there. And this is too narrow for the yes. And it is in the water. So once we get that crystal. We will be dragged by the current. Which is probably not what you want. And I have no clue what door opened up just now. Yeah, let's not forget that crystal over there. Uh. Holy shit, totally forgot about these mother suckers. Even if you jump up, so not falling down in them, but jump up to grab the vines, you take damage. find that super annoying. Oh my god, and now she's stuck. And I didn't save. Fuck me, and if I let go... She will die, unless I immediately jump. Nice. Screw this section over here. Right, is this the door that opened up? No, 
this just seems like, yeah, maybe it is. If we came from the left, like the level if you have limitless time but if you do not it's a bit daunting an opening in there, right? Or am I crazy? Let's just try it. Looks like an opening to me, at least. Here, here we go. Oh, fuck me. these motherfuckers with their poison. I'm only afraid that this level also have multiple branch paths so that if you want to get everything in one go that you can unknowingly take a path you're not supposed to and then be locked out of the items it's super <coughs> annoying I'm gonna read up on that quickly one sec all right no um, secrets three only 12 pickups including the rocket launcher kill 16 power up crystals eight or nine the maximum number of kills item etc will vary depending on which path you choose god damn it it's again paths branch path the walkthrough describes the all secret routes routes as well as substantial as well as a substantial shortcut there are nine safe crystals in the level but one is only available if you take the shortcuts so the maximum number you'll normally find on the longer all secret route is 8. However, it may be possible to get the extra one with some effort. See the note below. Be sure to find all the secrets so you can access the bonus level at the end of the game. You must now choose which route to follow down river. If you take the shortcut, you miss two secrets. If you want every kill and pick up, skip down to the section longer route down river, all secrets. Shortcut across the river and back again. There's an opening. Blah blah blah. Press the button. Um, you can't see the block. Then you just take the kayak down river. Completionists may want to attempt retrieving the ninth crystal. I will add notes and screenshots when I get to the remastered game revisions. But for now, check out this video by Ashian. Alright, as you turn the next corner to the left, try to stay in the middle of the channel so you can snack a safe power up crystal. longer route if you want all kills and pickups you should follow this path instead of the shortcut described above beginning at the ruins right so i guess the kayak is a shortcut which 
which we are now not doing. All right, let's just um, go as far as we can. The thing is, I'm a little bit afraid that I'm hitting points of no return. Like over here, can I get back up? I don't think so, where we were. Because I do want to take the kayak, because we need to use it. to get some uh, crystals in the water, I assume. <laughs> right, I do think we can get back to where we came from at least I hope so Levels with branch paths take so much more time to 100% because it often involves backtracking and stuff. It's pretty annoying. Here, for example, if I go over there, I'm pretty sure I cannot get back down anymore. There's also a crystal over there, god damn it. Or I mean not back down, I actually mean back up. section I really don't like games that focus on collectible hunting where you can maybe not even get all the items only with weird wor workarounds often only Right, could we have gotten here any other way? And can we get back up?
ways. We can again climb the ceiling. which could be useful but we are mostly I think already past the point of no return which I find super annoying Yeah, we're just getting lower and lower what I think we don't really want yet. sure if we jump down there we already got the secret area right yeah I think so if we jump down there I don't think we can get back here I'm not certain but pretty certain oh fuck me Uh, one moment, I'm just, I uh, will figure it out myself. Um, do we now want to, oh my god. Do we now want to take, oh fuck me. Sometimes the buttons, they simply stop working. It's so annoying. Something amiss with these button assignments. Here, even after disconnecting the controller, buttons are not working uh, at all. So we are um, literally having like a game freeze. God damn it. Escape not working, keyboard not working at all. Nothing working except the uh, directional buttons. God damn it, man. Flipping annoying. 